Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, I recently got back from um, a trip to the Reptile Expo in Ham, Germany, and uh, for the, on the first day of the, this just whirlwind trip, it was crazy, um, we went to, I have forgotten the name of it, hang on, uh, Zoo Zajak, I'm probably, <laughs> Zajak or something, I'm probably pronouncing that really wrong again. Um, yeah, it was an absolutely colossal pet store. Um, I've never seen anything else like it in my life. Um, I have watched plenty of videos of people walking around the big Petco's and Pet Smarts in America and honestly these look like little corner shops compared to this place. It was insane. I only actually really got a proper look at the bird section and the small pet section and then I only had an hour left so I just had to kind of race through the aquarium and reptile sections. It was insane. Um, they had just, I mean, as well as all the animals you can imagine, they also had um, marmosets, they had meerkats, they had free roaming sloths. It was insane. Um, it's just incredible place. Oh yeah, the first thing was these, um, I've seen some other people use these and uh, rodents really seem to like them. I might see if Kermit wants one as well. They had little cheese flavoured snacks. Um, yeah, happy to found this because I looked for them and couldn't find them online. But uh, yeah, got those. Um, yeah, we got lots of stuff from this JR Farm brand. Um, yeah, just um, sort of edible edible decor for... It's actually for uh, birds. That's what it's intended for. But obviously I will probably end up using most of this for my harvest mice. Um, I might see if Kermit wants to chew on one. But uh, yeah, and... That's some um, sort of that's canary seed. This is what canary seed looks like um, in its natural form before it's hulled. So that's pretty cool. Um, and this is some kind of minute, I believe. So sort of just really tiny minute sprays. They're gonna look, they're gonna look really pretty in the harvest mass tank, I think. Uh, what's this? Oh yeah, um, I just picked up another mineral block for Kermit. He's got the, the, the seed one currently, and uh, when that one's out, um, I'll have this ready to go. It's just, so, uh, I'd never seen these in the shops before. I had to buy the last one online. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just put that in stock. Uh, got some... More treat sticks for Kermit. Um, I don't make. I'm not in the habit of giving him these, but I like to put one in his cage if, uh, on the rare occasions when I go on a trip somewhere, um, just gives him that extra something to, and you know, makes means he always has a backup source of food. Um, yeah, and uh, I like this brand, so yeah. Uh, oh yeah, they had. Yeah, they this. Uh, Mainly again for the harvest mice. Um, uh, Bunny Nature is a German brand. Um, really cute, really nice products, um, which you just can't get in the UK at all. Um, if I had more money, I would have bought a ton more stuff, but I just got these because they just they look cute and, and tasty. Uh, I've got a toy for Kermit kind of rope and leather um, like a lot of small birds he seems to like chewing on leathery things so we should enjoy this and it's kind of just got a bit more sort of just grip and traction than the plastic rings and stuff so I'm hoping he'll enjoy clambering about on that uh, and I just got him another natural wood perch because you can never have too many of these yep um, oh, I got some dried pillow moss. Um, I've never seen this geared towards kind of like small pets before. This was in the uh, this was in the bird section actually, but um, I'm gonna um, decorate the 
Harvest mouse tank with some of this. Maybe put some in the quails. Uh, I won't give any to Kermit. You know, I don't think he'll get anything out of it. But yeah, it should uh, it should look pretty. Oh, what else have we got? Uh, yeah, rope perch again. Can never have too many of these. Super useful. Kermit loves them. You might be able to hear him flying around in the background, getting a bit nervous as to why I'm talking to myself. <laughs> And the last thing is just some AV cakes. This is something a bit different from the Nutri Berries. It's basically the same kind of thing. Maybe a slightly different mix. I think there's more pellets in these. Um, again, so much like. Um, I rarely see these in the shops. At least my local pet shops. Pets at Home doesn't carry this stuff anymore. Um, so it's just so much cheaper to like buy it in the shop when you can. And uh, yeah, that's it. So yeah, definitely definitely if you're traveling for Europe like, and you have any kind of pet, you know, a, a dog, cat, exotic mammal, small rodent, bird, fish, reptile, you name it, there's just going to be just endless choice for whatever animal you have. I can pretty much guarantee that. So, um, yeah, um, definitely worth like heading to this place if you're if you're you know traveling through France or Germany. Um, oh, there goes Kermit. <laughs> what do you think? Which is your favourite thing? Hmm? He's molting at the moment. He's covered in pin feathers. What's your favourite? You like moss? talking now. He's still very camera shy. So that's my haul of stuff. Uh, lovely things. <laughs> it's probably a good thing I didn't get around to the other sections because otherwise there would be twice as much stuff here. Um, yeah. So and so the next day of course we went to the expo and I will uh, very excited to show you what or rather who I picked up there um, so yeah please tune in for that and uh, see you guys soon bye <laughs>